Hey guys, I have an art supply to share with you. This is a Caran d'Ache water brush. Now Caran d'Ache makes several different sizes of water brushes, but what makes this one so unique is the tip. Now most water brushes have a brush tip. This has a felt tip, like a marker. I was so intrigued, I just had to give this a try. So let's fill it with water. First, you're going to remove the top. It has a plunger here. So we're going to put the plunger into the water and we're going to pull up. And then we're going to tilt it and let all of the bubbles come to the top. Press on the bottom of the plunger until all the air is out. You're going to dip it back in and pull up again. And you're going to keep doing this process until all of the air is out of the barrel. Pull up again, and now it's full. Okay, so we're going to screw the top back on. And this might take a second or two to get the water to come. Uh, down and fill up the felt. So I'm just going to squeeze right here just a little bit and we'll be able to feel and, and when it gets wet. Okay, it's starting to feel wet now. Okay, so now my felt tip is full of water. Okay, so I have a small piece of watercolor paper here and I've mixed up some uh, watercolor. Now I'm assuming you can use anything that's very fluid with this. Um, acrylic ink, um, well basically any kind of ink or watercolor, things like that. But I'm going to use watercolor for now. Okay. I've never used this before. Let's see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is just dip into a little bit of this Venetian red. Okay. Now what I think I'm going to use this for is maybe just writing, um, writing with my watercolors. We'll see. I'll dip into the green. I just want to see how this is really cool. <laughs> this is really cool. Now I wanted to be able to see if I could dip into different colors and not contaminate. And look, I, I just dipped into the red, I mean to the green, and there was no red in it. So that's pretty good. Now let's dip into the blue. Okay. And I'll dip back into the red. So you can very quickly move from color to color and it's uh, and it doesn't contaminate each color so that's wonderful. Let's, let's try to... Okay. Now I'm not, I do not have the best handwriting in the world but um, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, laundry, because that's a word I use very often around my house. <laughs> it's never ending. So anyway, um, I think this is great. Let me flip this over and just kind of, uh, let's see if I can do a blend with this. Hmm, not really, not really, uh, that's not working. Um, so let me see how thin I can get it. Oh, that's nice. Do you guys see how thin? Let me go, let me do the, uh, the blue. That'll show up better. Gosh, look how, that is a very thin line. That, that was really nice. Okay, we'll go into the red. Now I keep dipping from color to, go, to color and it's, I'm not contaminating my colors. 
Oh, now see I had a little bit of red on my brush and I dipped into the green and it kind of mixed it but that actually is not bad. So what I'm doing is um, between each color I kind of press it into my towel and that seems to be really cleaning my brush off before I dip into the next color. So that's easy. I like that. Let me really saturate this um, this nib right here and see what I can do. Really soak up some color. Oh, see now the color is much darker. And since this is a water brush and it's feeding water into the nib, it's, it's watercolor. So uh, the more you go, the lighter it's going to get. But it seems to really um, this turns your watercolor into a marker. This is really cool. And it looks like there's a lot of life to it. Like if you really saturate uh, your watercolor into the nib, you can go for quite a while. That is amazing. I really, really like this. So I'm gonna clean it off. Let's see how well Okay, now let's go into the green. Okay, now look, that looks like a pure green. It's really easy to clean, to go from color to go color. I'm so impressed with that. Wow. And you get, you can do a thick line or a thin line. This is cool. Okay. So I think I've done enough here to give a good um, overview of what this can do. Okay, so when you change from color to color, all you have to do is get a towel, a paper towel, whatever, squeeze the tip, it pulls all of the uh, ink or whatever, watercolor out, then you can change right to the next color. It's that easy to change colors with it. So you can you can really um, write or draw pretty quickly with this uh, with lots of different colors. It turns your watercolors into a marker. I love this. This is fun. So this, I don't own anything else like this. Now granted you can write thin lines um, with a brush, with a, with a, um, a really good watercolor brush. You can do thin lines. But this makes it easy to actually write with. If you want to do lettering with your watercolors, I would, I would say get this. This is going to be much easier for you to write with your watercolors with this tip. So that being said, I give this a thumbs up. It's unique. I think it's really cool. I recommend it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to go play some more, and I'll see you later. Bye.